Have you ever thrown your phone across the room and wanted to know when it stopped moving? There are sensors that can help. To access them, try the Sensors Plus package. This gives you access to two sensors, the accelerometer and the gyroscope. For each one, you can get a stream. The accelerometer event stream, for example, tells you where your phone is going. The stream sends events that contain the X, Y, and Z values for how fast the phone's position is changing. But what do those numbers actually represent? Imagine your phone as a single point in space. It's not moving, right? Maybe not, but you're on a planet with gravity, right? So even if it doesn't look like it, it's actually trying to move down. On Earth, at least, if nothing else is happening, the up-down direction, that's why, if you're holding the phone upright, always has a constant 9.8 meters per second squared downward force. But sometimes, gravity is just a little too much. In that case, swap out accelerometer events with user accelerometer events. That tells you about the phone's movement without gravity. Hold the phone perfectly steady, and its change in position in every direction will be zero. Next up, imagine your phone as a flat upright square. Now tilt it. But how did it move? And is it continuing to tilt even more? Like the accelerometer, Sensors Plus gives you access to the gyroscope via a stream that sends events. Listening to it gives you gyroscope events when things change. It too includes an X, Y, and Z. These represent how the orientation, the tilt, of the phone is changing, but keep it totally still and everything will be zero. Do something radical like turning it to the left and you'll see some new numbers for how fast it's turning. What do you do with all this information? Anything, but maybe save that data before the phone comes crashing down. For more info on Sensors Plus and all the other packages, head on over to pub.dev.